Hi, today I am going to talk about surface plasmon. Previously I have shown you that light can be guided in planar waveguides when we had a dielectric core with high refractive index which is surrounded by substrate and cladding which had lower refractive indexes. And it appears that light can be also guided at the interface of dielectric and metal. And metal. But there is only a solution for TM modes, for transverse magnetic modes. So let's assume we have here some C, here is X, and here is Y component. So we have a Y component of the magnetic field. We assume that this Y component of the electric uh, of the magnetic field decreases exponentially so it will look like like this so there is exponential decay in both in dielectric and in metal so this is e to the power of alpha d times x and here is some e to the power of minus alpha m in metal times x. So it decreases exponentially. And this alpha is some complex wave number, complex variable, which is different in dielectric and different in metal. And it is defined similarly as previously as beta squared minus k naught squared times epsilon d in dielectric and m in metal. Okay, it appears that this alpha m over alpha d must be equal to minus epsilon m over epsilon d. You can prove this starting from Maxwell equation on the curve of the magnetic field. So now let's substitute alpha m with this expression and alpha d also. So we have a square root of beta squared minus k naught squared times epsilon m over square root of beta squared minus k naught squared epsilon d. Epsilon m over epsilon d. And now we <laughs> want to take a square of the left hand and right hand sides. So now we will have beta squared minus k naught squared epsilon m over beta squared minus k naught squared epsilon d and on the right hand side now is epsilon m squared epsilon d squared. So we have beta squared epsilon d squared minus k naught squared epsilon m epsilon d squared and on the right hand side we have beta squared times epsilon m squared minus k naught squared epsilon d epsilon m squared. So we have beta squared times epsilon d squared minus epsilon m squared on the left hand side and k naught squared epsilon m epsilon d squared minus epsilon d epsilon m squared on the right hand side so beta squared equals k naught squared here we have epsilon m epsilon d times epsilon d minus epsilon m over epsilon d minus epsilon m uh, squared is epsilon d minus epsilon m times epsilon d plus epsilon m. So this epsilon d minus epsilon m cancels out. And we have finally beta. We take a square root of this, so we have k naught and square root of epsilon m epsilon d divided by the sum of epsilon d and epsilon m.
So we finally found a beta coefficient, a propagation constant, for a surface plasma. So for this propagation of this magnetic field. We also know that epsilon d is always positive. We know that epsilon m is negative. And we know that the value, the absolute value of epsilon d, of this permittivity in dielectrics, is much lower than the value, the absolute value, of the permittivity of metals. The right hand side of this relation is positive and the absolute value of epsilon m is much larger than epsilon d, which means that alpha m is much larger than alpha d, which also means that this decrease of the magnetic field in metal which be much quicker. So if we draw this once again, x coordinate and here is zero, then if this is in dielectric and this is metal, then in dielectric it will slowly decrease with distance. And in metal this magnetic field will very very quickly decrease. So this penetration of the magnetic field into the metal is very low. So it is of the order of lower than micrometers, typically. So it is a very quick decrease. It vanishes in metal. This is the Y component of the magnetic field. In dielectrics it decreases but much slower than in the metal. And this distribution, this funny shape distribution, can be guided along this metal dielectric interface. And it is called the surface plasma. If you have questions, put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.